All right, here we go. It took me like 20 minutes to get my camera working. It was tripping. So today is January 2021, and it will be the first full send of many Skullfish tournaments. This is my first tournament on Chickamahoney Lake. I think that's right. It's the Ed Allen series or whatever it's called. I don't know, but this is the first big trip. Um, we're gonna head out there early. It's like two and a half hour drive, two hour drive. So we're gonna get out there early, get a little room for just a quick night, nothing crazy. So we're just there. You're not waking up in the morning, driving two two hours out to go fish for eight hours, and then drive two hours home. You know, then it's gonna be 27 degrees tomorrow, high of 39, six eight mile per hour winds. So we got a lot of crazy stuff going on. So over here I got this my little bag right here. In here. I got all my like military grade gear, no lie. Like I'm gonna be bundled up. If nothing, I'm gonna be bundled up out there. Uh, we got all our camera equipment in here. Let's bust this open for y'all so y'all can see what I like to bring on the trip. That's the first one actually. More clothes to stay warm. We got our drone, GoPros, stands, and then the camera I'm holding, of course. Um, in here, I just got some extra base that I didn't have on my boat that I thought I would bring with me. And it's just a lot, you know, we got A-Rigs. There's a bunch of good stuff. Got my Lorenz unit. Then I still gotta get a lot of bass and stuff ready actually. So I still gotta spool rods and reels. I gotta get my loose mock re-spooled. I'm gonna throw straight fluorocarbon on that, 20 pound. There's some big bass in this water. So hopefully we can catch some big ones. Hopefully we can win some big fish. Last tournament, y'all saw the video. We did pretty good, caught five fish. Like it's the first time in my life I ever caught a limit. Um, and that was my first tournament of 2021. So this is gonna be my second one. Just trying to figure it all out, man. And like I said, the weather's gonna be really cold, really, really cold. Like I'm never fishing this cold of weather. Like I don't even know how to prepare, but I'm doing my best. I got gloves. I got this little cool thing, not sponsored by them, but it's called Okapa. So it's an external charger, but it's like a hand warmer at the same time. So definitely gonna need that. And um, yeah, man, that's it so far. Just gonna take y'all throughout the journey. Appreciate everybody, man, 800 subs. Gotta get to 1K. So if you are watching this video, make sure you tap that subscribe button, make sure you like that heart, hit that share, you know, same story, same, different day. Um, but I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I got merch out too, but by the time y'all see this, I might already have all my pre-orders filled out. I think I got like nine hats left. So that's exciting as well. First big piece of merch dropping besides the wristbands, like actual merch, you know what I'm saying? And it's doing pretty good so far. Thor, you wanna say anything? What you got to say? Huh? Hmm? But it's your boy Bass Sandy's, man. I'll catch y'all. Oh. I'll catch y'all at the hotel, man, because I'm bringing some more attack over there on the boat. Talk some more stuff through. I read the scout report, fishing reports, all that stuff. I don't know. We just got to do good, man. We got to do good, man. Y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, time to rig some tackle. Let me get, let me get comfy, you feel me? Guys, man, it's like, I ain't gonna tell you my secrets, what I'm using, like, I want you to come where I come and catch fish. So, if what I tell you what I tell on the night works for y'all, then, you know, you come here in the winter when it's 29 degrees, you can catch fish on it. So the first thing I'm gonna be throwing, put y'all in on a little scoop. All right, wrong set of poles. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back, that was long. So first thing I'm gonna be throwing tomorrow is a blight. Strike King jig, a good thing I'm nice with it. So yeah, this is a half ounce jig. Um, I got a little Carl's, Carl's bait. I forgot what they're called, but fish love them, man. These little bugs they got. So this is the first thing I'm gonna be tossing tomorrow morning. Hopefully it'll work. You can't go wrong with a black jig, man. I just think, and then from my understanding, black is like a color that the uh, fish can like really key in on and identify. You know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. Get the focus back right. All right, next. This place is known for big bass. We're gonna use small hooks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this place is known for big bass. We're gonna use small hooks. It's a little drop shot hook. I don't know the exact size because I just got them pulled out and all over the place. So let's get this tied on. A little twisted T for them head bangers. And that like the sound of drag, huh? Y'all hear that? 
That's what I'm trying to hit them all, boy. So I'm gonna take, I learned this from my boy Jeff Dodon. He ain't here today, but you know what I'm saying. You take it back through, just a little hole. I don't know if y'all can see me doing this. And then you just bring it back around. And what that does is it allows the hook to sit up. So now the hook is like sitting. It's supposed to sit like this. I don't know. I don't know. I think I messed that up. We're going to think it. We're going to rock with it. I think it'll start pushing down once you push the video. We're going to rock with her. You know, and after that, you take, I don't know, man. It's winter time. I suck at fishing in the winter. Um, so, yeah, man, that's about it. So, other than that, man, we're going to chill out, get some rest, just chill for a little bit. So, y'all know it. I'm going to catch y'all in the a.m. Bright and early. I will not be due back starting tomorrow. I will be bundled up, hibernating bear. I'm going to be cold. I'm going to be wrapped up. I'll be ready to go, man. So, yeah, let's get it. Let's see. Let's just flip and pitch all this shit up. I took a little pause, man. We've been out here for about four hours. I think my boy Mitch had a bite, missed it. I don't know for sure. He spotted some fish. It's hard to find a lot of deep points. I don't know if this is up or down lake or whatever, but we're gonna try the other side of the lake. We looked at the graph and some deeper points on that side. It's really hard to find some deep pockets out here, man. And uh, we've been throwing everything, man. Spinner baits, jerk baits, uh, play baits, play baits, drop shots, jigs. We just really ain't found nothing that's just interesting yet, but we still got like four or five hours left to fish. So we're just gonna keep grinding it out, man. That's all we can do. And um, hopefully we find something that we used to like. Like it's totally different from us. Fishing like it's real shallow out here. It's winter time, vegetation is dead. <laughs> It's like 20 degrees, no, 38 degrees. It's supposed to be 20 all day, but now it's warming up a little bit. So maybe the fish cut on this afternoon. That's what I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna give it to you raw and uncut, man. It's winter time out here in Virginia. It's cold. The fish are on the bottom, man, and they, they stand still. Like I said, we located a bunch of fish on the ground. Tried to fish for them. Uh, they were in that like eight to 12 foot range. So I threw a jerk bait, suspended jerk bait. You got it down there, let it sit. Out, man. Uh, hopefully we got some fish catches for y'all in this video. If we don't, man, if y'all see this video, if you got any hints, tips, or what you think we should have did or could have did a little bit better, drop them down in the comments below. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm a growing angler. You know, I need some growth and just trying to be better, especially when it's time fishing. Like I said, out here in Virginia, man, it's just totally different. So we're going to get back to it, man. Hopefully we get some fish for y'all, man. And I'll catch y'all on the other side of the lake. Deep water. There's a couple fish back there, bro. Look like. So that's a fish right there, a little small one, and 11, yeah, 
straight behind you. Sitting in that four foot range. Bro, there's fish back there. And they sitting in that uh, 